as you can see I have all kinds of videos on here I hope you like them find them informational enlightening and maybe entertaining please subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of these by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down thank you hello everybody I'm gonna show you how we've hooked up our uh, barbecuer to our RV here uh, all kinds of different ways to do it but we chose to do ours this way what we got to do is you got to uh, hook up to your main one of your main tanks either way you want so you could probably even hook up to one of those but that's my neighbors and he probably wouldn't like it so here's what I've done this is a switch from uh, one tank to the other that's your passenger side this is your driver's side this is your regulator now it's being regulated after these tanks after that switch so what you this is runs down as you can see through there maybe and runs down to here and then branches off to all the other stuff so there's a regulator ahead of this so you don't need two this is your shutoff valve this is also going to be a shutoff valve when it's uh, taken apart so I hope that makes that clear usually this has a bottle going up there with the regulator well you don't need the regulator your regulator on the other end as I just showed you so you take this regulator off and then just hook your hose into here and it works great now I'm going to show you my friends over here. He's similar, similar deal on his uh, Weber. He's got a, about two different shutoffs, not counting the connection. This is my friend's unit parked next to me here. Got similar device here. He's got a shutoff here. I think he's got one there too. It looks like the blue handle, shorter hose. But they're both hooked up the same way, so we can change them if we needed to. Or add to it if we wanted to get a long ways away. Anyway, that's one way to hook it up. That's about all there is to it. He's taking his regulator off also. And just put a coupler in there. Works good not a very long video doesn't need to be it showed you what needs to be shown this saves buying them little green bottles and you don't have to worry about running out with them hooked up to your big tank unless your big tank runs out and then you're in trouble anyway well, hope this helps y'all If you don't have your regulator on your cooker, don't use just straight out of the tank. The regulator is there for a reason, so this is the only way you want to use it without a regulator, because you already have it regulated. Pretty simple. The reason why I'm using a longer hose is because I use the hose for my air tank also. One hose, two uses, easy storage.